hey everyone i don't come again with another video this video one i want to watch now about house help house help their story don't it too much their their story don't it too much many of them they come with different missions and they come to steal to destroy they come with different mission if not be god when stand by this small girl say i heard strong this house help walk by this gate last week here i come uh, across one video when we say the madam say this house help she was actually good she knows how to take care of the house take care of her children clean the house very well she's she said her perfection and she they call her but one comma day this house help for nine to go carry the madam's son small picking of one year go they suck picking bola we gonna watch this video and help me share this video. May a lot of people see this video. We gonna leave a decent comment. I be gonna follow my page too until I bring another video again. Bye bye. So my mom sent me to live in Nigeria for four years. When I got there, my aunt, who I was staying with, had a housemaid or what they call a house girl. She did the cleaning, helped with the cooking. She went to the supermarket did all that kind of stuff for them when i got to nigeria my hair was significantly long my hair was like right here mind you she would never help me take my hair down i would take my hair down by myself but one day she like literally insists on helping me take my hair down after she takes my hair down my hair is significantly shorter even my aunt is like what happened to your hair and i just have no idea why my hair was all of a sudden short a few days later she gets in trouble because my aunt sent her to go to the supermarket to get some food stuff and she takes too long like she's gone for almost an hour gets in trouble she gets hit blah 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 that is just kind of normal sometimes she gets for taking too long and i never agreed with them her by the way like a lot of people don't actually their housemaids but they happen to all of their housemates even their like security guards you no know, housemaid and security guard you're probably thinking these people are rich these people have nothing most people in nigeria have a housemaid and they have a security guard to open the gate for them and things like that anyways it hasn't even been a year since i've been in nigeria a couple weeks later i end up really sick i end up sick to the point where i could barely walk I couldn't even stand up. I didn't even have energy to stand up. I was drinking salt in Sprite, which is like a Nigerian version of Gatorade to give you electrolytes and energy. I was throwing up nonstop. Whatever I ate, I was throwing up. I was really, really sick. In fact, I don't think I've ever been that sick before in my life. Nobody knew what happened. Nobody took me to the doctor. We were just buying medicine and just trying to treat everything at home. I ended up missing school for like six weeks, which is almost two months. And um, when I get back, everybody's excited to see me. They're like, oh my God, Crystal, you're okay. You're back, blah, blah, blah. My teacher was so happy to see me. A year goes by, we forget about it. I'm cured, whatever, right? No, wrong. A pastor comes over to my house and wants to do a night vigil. Night vigil is basically when you spend all night praying. Like you're praying from like 8 or 9 p.m. to like 4 a.m. And most of the time, us kids, we didn't stay awake to see the end of the night vigil. We would just fall asleep and end up going to our rooms. At this point, I'm sleeping. The pastor's praying. And all of a sudden, he gets this message from God or something like that, that the housemaid had done something to me. So he brings it up and says it. And everyone's looking at her and she basically is lying at first, but then she starts confessing to everything that she did. Basically confesses that she took my hair to a babalawa, which is a juju doctor, in order to try and initiate me into this sort of like evil cult thing, like some river spirits. She said when she had went and they had did it, they said it was too strong to kill me because that's what they were supposed to do. End up kicking her out of the house and then that's when I become their housemaid.